Everyone is hyped about Apple's new password app, and honestly, it kind of deserves it. But here's my confession, I won't be using it. Not because it's bad, but because it breaks one of the most important security rules that I live by. And trust me, you'll want to hear about this. So Apple finally made its own password app. And no, it's not buried somewhere in the settings anymore. It's a proper app that you can open right on your iPhone. And again, it's honestly really solid. You can see all of your logins in one place, checked saved Wi-Fi passwords, set up verification codes, and even use pass keys for faster logins. Everything syncs automatically through iCloud, so your passwords show up on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac without you having to do anything. And for most people, this is exactly what they've been waiting for. It's simple, it works, and it makes password management feel effortless. But that same simplicity also hides a few problems that most users will never notice. Hi everybody, and welcome back to Safety Detectives, where we keep your tech secure and your security simple. So here's the thing about Apple's new password app. It is convenient, maybe a little too convenient. When something works, works this smoothly, most people stop thinking about how it actually keeps them safe. And that's where the cracks start to show. The app is great if you live entirely inside the Apple bubble, but it also builds a bit of a wall around you. It's easy, but you're giving up some flexibility and even a bit of security without realizing it. And that's really the trade-off here. You get Apple's simplicity, but you also get Apple's limits. So before we talk about what makes it risky, let's start with what Apple actually got right. Let's be fair. Apple's password app is actually really good at what it's supposed to do. The layout is clean, it's easy to find what you need, and it pulls everything together. This includes stuff like logins, pass keys, Wi-Fi passwords, and even your two-factor codes. You can easily add or edit passwords without needing to dig through settings, and it automatically fills them in when you sign into apps or websites. On my iPhone 15 Plus, it's all built right into Face ID. You open the app, tap passwords, and everything's right there, organized and synced through iCloud. And the best part, it's completely free. No subscriptions to cash out for, zero setup headaches, or any learning curve involved. So yeah, if you've never used a password manager before, this feels like a huge upgrade. Apple took something that used to feel complicated and made it completely effortless. But that's also where the problem starts. The thing is, when something is too easy, it can trick you into thinking that it is completely bulletproof. Okay, so Apple nailed the design. It looks great, it works great, and you don't have to pay a cent for it. So why am I not using it? Well, for me, it really comes down to three things. How locked in it keeps you, how much trust it puts into one single password, and the features it still doesn't have. Let's start with the first one. If you use only Apple devices, this app kind of feels amazing. It syncs instantly across your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, and everything just works. But the second you step outside of that Apple bubble, things start to fall apart. Let's say you use a Windows laptop for work or keep an Android phone as a backup. Well, suddenly that seamless Apple experience turns into a huge hassle. Now you can technically access your passwords on Windows through iCloud for Windows, but it's a bit clunky and limited. Autofill doesn't always work and there's no proper desktop app for this. And on Android, there's nothing. No app, no sync, no autofill, so just forget about it there. So if you ever decide to switch platforms or even just log in from another device, you'll hit a wall pretty quickly. And that's because Apple's password app isn't designed for people who move between ecosystems. It's built for people who never leave Apple's world. And that's the first reason I'm not switching. I need a password manager that works wherever I do. Now, here's the second reason, and it's a big one. Apple's Passwords app uses your phone's passcode and face ID to unlock your entire vault. That means if someone gets your passcode, they get everything. Every login, every passkey, your Wi-Fi networks, all of it. Apple does have something called stolen device protection, which adds a few safety checks, and it forces Face ID for certain actions and makes you wait an hour before changing important security settings. And that certainly helps, but it still doesn't solve the main issue. Your phone's passcode shouldn't be the only thing standing between someone and your entire web presence. A dedicated password 
Manager uses a completely separate master password, which is an extra layer that Apple's setup just doesn't have. So if your phone gets stolen in those cases, your passwords are still safe beyond that second wall. But unfortunately with Apple's system, one code unlocks everything. And that's not how professionals protect their data. The last reason is pretty simple. Apple's passwords app just doesn't do everything a full dedicated password manager can. You can't store credit cards, password details, or any kind of secure notes. There's no place for files or ID documents. And if you ever want to share a password safely with a friend or a coworker, your options are pretty limited. Apps like 1Password, Dashlane, or Bitwarden can store all of that stuff and encrypt it so that it stays private, even if someone gets into your account. They also give you things like security support, password health checks, and even emergency access for people you trust. Apple's app covers the basics really well, but it still feels like version one. It's great for simple password storage, not for managing your entire digital life. We've actually already tested the best password managers for iOS. You can check out that video next, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos. So who is Apple's password app actually for? Well, if you've never used a password manager before, this is the perfect place to start. It's free, built right into your iPhone, and does the basics really well, saving, syncing, and autofilling passwords without you having to think about it. If you live fully in the Apple ecosystem, then it's even better. Your logins follow you across your iPhone, iPad, Mac, and everything else automatically. And for a lot of people, that's probably enough and definitely better than nothing. But if you use a Windows PC for work, an Android phone, or you just want more control over your data, then you'll run into these limits pretty quickly. And that's where a real password manager wins, something that works everywhere and keeps your vault separate from your device unlock. Simply put, Apple's password app is a great start for beginners, but real security still means having that extra wall between your phone and your passwords. Convenience is definitely nice, but separation is what keeps you safe. So Apple's new password app is definitely a big step forward. It makes good security effortless, and that's a win for everybody. But if you care about flexibility, advanced protection, or you just want full control over your data, then a dedicated password manager is still the better choice. So if you're wondering which one you should actually use, then we've got you covered. Thanks as always for watching Safety Detectives, and we'll see you in the next video.